What's going on guys? I'm back here with a quick unboxing. I was able to go back to Walmart and purchase one of those little stunt runner cars uh, by Adventure Force. Uh, this was the last one, so we'll do a little quick unboxing and a little quick test run here. I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the box here. The battery is 2.4 volts, so it's not 3. It's not 3.7. I'm hoping that it's not slow so we got two different bodies here so it can flip over and keep driving we got our transmitter gives you a little preview of it a picture of it same stuff we read over there that is the name of it if you need to check it out if you want to look for it online it's the stunt runner by adventure force they're the same ones that make the metal racer. So let's go ahead and open this up, guys. This should be a really quick unboxing here. Yep, just, uh, this side. This side actually, nothing else in there. All right, so it's neatly, neatly packaged, I would say. We had a little diagram there of how to set it up. So you got a little So this is basically your manual. I thought it was just the picture, but it's your manual. We're not gonna go over that, but it is in there. And uh, transmitter. It's a, it's a clicker, but but it'll do. We got lights. Here, that's not a button, it's just a light and a, some sort of lightning. Maybe there's a turbo. I don't know, I didn't read the direction, so. And this here, but it doesn't seem to push in. Hmm, is that just for show or? I don't know what that is. The batteries, of course, I got the the screwdriver here because it's a child's toy. I don't feel like grabbing my screwdriver. I got I got tons of these screws. If I mess this screw up, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that screwdriver. But before I get the screwdriver, since we went over this, you know, if you, uh, goes this way, so you got your forward, backwards, and your right and left, left and right, your on and off button here. We got some indicators. This is probably letting you know the power's on. This is, I don't know, maybe you can turn your lights on and off. This button doesn't seem to click or push in or anything. You got something that resembles an antenna. We got this, which actually opens. There's a charging port. Oh, wow. So, uh, not bad. I like it. It looks okay. It's not too bad. So, let's go on to the car, and then we'll open that up and put the batteries in. Pretty sure it's going to be AAA batteries. So, here's the actual RC. Decent rubber. It's kind of hard, guys. They're not a full rim neither. See that? But they'll do. Feels decent enough. Well, I believe this churns like an army tank. 
and so there is no actual servo or uh, rotor whatever they call it or rotor so it just uh, turning it turns like the way an army tank turns it feels decent it doesn't feel too cheap uh, adventure forces items are pretty good it's got our on and off button so this is uh i wonder which side is the top originally I'm not sure it's it's probably this side it feels decent it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel cheap it feels okay it feels good and by the way guys this was ten dollars so I'm gonna go ahead and pop those batteries in and we'll go from there. See what this little guy can do. All right guys, so I got it charging up right now. So we'll let it charge up. So when it turns on, this is uh, when you turn on the, the actual controller, this light will be on. And then when you're put, when you put the charging cord into the RC, then this light will turn on and it has to be turned on to the controller so uh, you might want to get rechargeable batteries you should have rechargeable batteries if you're screwing around with anything rc don't buy into the battery game with uh, these battery companies don't do that buy some rechargeables from harbor freight um, those were actually rated good those batteries from harbor freight they actually charge up to uh, the exact volts some of these batteries and when you look at um, batteries and if you go through YouTube and look at rechargeable batteries some of them don't recharge to the full power again so Harbor um, Harbor Freight batteries did and the Rayvac I think those ones if I'm saying that right I might be saying that wrong but those ones also hold their charge to a full charge and they cost they cost about uh, $13 for the four battery it charges up four batteries uh trip triple a and double a's so you, and, it, and they start you off with four for about 15 bucks so get that and then you know after that batteries are very cheap for it. the rechargeable batteries are not very expensive you can buy a whole bundle of them in uh, in walmart that's where i bought my recharger at but it, let's go back to the car so so this is what it says here you guys remember twist flips and spins and, and churns for fast fun so we'll go ahead and try that out as soon as this is done we'll give it a shot see if I can do some spin outs you know like because the way it's I guess you can churn like that because of the fact that it it uses churning like the way a RC tank does. So you should be able to spin in a circle a lot easier than it just being a regular uh, servo turning it or some sort of rotor. So I already got it on the hat cam. So let's go ahead and get this started guys. That should be done charging by the time I go back. Saying you guys will be seeing it already in the video, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hat cam on. I'm gonna go ahead and let this charge. Put the hat cam on. And we'll go from there, guys. All right, guys, I got it all set up already. Let's go ahead and try this out. Put the hat cam, the hat cam on. This guy's, it's small, so. Oh, wow. This thing's. Oh, man. This thing's pretty fast. Some spin out. Wow, this thing's actually pretty fast. This is, uh. Hit that willies and all. It's a little difficult to control, but it's it. But it's got power, man. It's got like no wonder they put a 2.4. I love that flip feature. 
So you basically can play with this and never have to worry about picking it up. And it is 2.4 gigahertz, so even better. Yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. Look at that. It like just goes ballistic because of the power it has. Let's see, get it out of there. There it is. See that? I didn't even have to retrieve it. This is not bad for 10 bucks. I think it's worth it. The transmitter feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. Adventure Force makes really decent items. Whoa, man, you guys gotta check this, this out. Watch, look at this, check this out. I'll try to get it to work here so you guys can see a little close up. But when I just press up on it, it just goes crazy. See that guys? I can film it, right? Damn coordination though. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all, it's pretty, pretty fun. I don't have to worry about it getting stuck under my couch because how how slim it is. Just the only thing I need to practice how to how to drive it around a little better. Battery is wearing down a little bit. You can see it's not as as aggressive. No, over here. Yeah, you can see it's not doing so many flips anymore. It just takes a little bit of practice here to uh, get it to churn the way I want and get to no front from the back. Oh man, sorry about that guys. So that's full speed right there, but it's wearing down now. But even that is decent. But it, it is, it's, the uh, battery's wearing down, I can feel it. I'm not sure how long playtime is. It probably goes faster because my batteries that I have in there are kind of dead right now. I was using them on something else, so. They might be a little dead. I'm kind of getting the hang of it, kind of. No, I'm not getting the hang of it. Let's see. Yeah, I like it. It's decent. Not bad. I really, I really think it's a pretty cool inside car. 
not bad and um, you turn it off there and pull this out right here and it's got a JST on it connection and you just pop it in I don't want to pop it in because the battery's hot and I'll just ruin it but right there it goes in guys so it's like almost hidden you can't even see it really So not bad for $10, that's that's actually pretty good. This thing's fast, fully charged, it's fast. I need to get some better batteries in there and I'll probably do another video, but I mean, it, it's pretty basic, guys. I mean, it's a $10 toy. I'll probably just use my ramp and go over it. And, but I wanted to do a video of me sharing all my miniature RC cars, so I'll probably show it in that one. But I think it's a pretty cool RC car for 10 bucks. And it's by Adventure Force and they're pretty good. So we got uh, the Stunt Runner, $10 guys, Walmart. Not bad. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And uh, don't forget to grab one of these for sure in Walmart.